Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Have you ever wondered how you can experience God's blessings more fully in your daily life? Do you sometimes feel like you're waiting for something to shift, something to happen, but you're not quite sure what to do to make it come faster? What if I told you that there are simple, practical things you can do every day to position yourself to receive God's blessings more swiftly and abundantly? In today's message, we're going to explore five daily practices that can help you align your life with God's will and open the floodgates of His blessings. These practices are not complicated or out of reach. In fact, they're things that you can easily incorporate into your everyday routine. We'll look at how these actions can make a difference, using examples that resonate with our daily experiences. So, let's open our hearts and minds to what God has for us today, and prepare to receive His blessings in ways we never imagined. 1. Start your day with prayer and scripture. The importance of a morning routine. The first thing you can do each day to receive God's blessings faster, is to start your day with prayer and scripture. Think about how you usually begin your mornings. Do you jump out of bed, immediately checking your phone, or rushing through your morning routine? Or do you take a moment to connect with God before the busyness of the day begins? Starting your day with prayer and scripture sets the tone for everything that follows. It helps you align your thoughts and actions with God's will, opening your heart to His guidance and blessings. When you prioritize time with God first thing in the morning, you're essentially inviting Him to be a part of every moment of your day. Example, imagine a day where you wake up feeling stressed about a meeting at work or an important decision you have to make. The temptation might be to dive straight into work, trying to tackle the problem on your own. But instead, you decide to spend the first few minutes of your day in prayer, asking God for wisdom and reading a passage from the Bible that speaks to your situation. This simple act can change your entire outlook. As you move through your day, you carry with you the peace and assurance that comes from spending time in God's presence. You approach your meeting with confidence, knowing that God is with you, guiding your steps. By starting your day with God, you're not only seeking His blessings but also positioning yourself to receive them more readily. 2. Practice gratitude throughout the day. The power of thankfulness. The second daily practice is cultivating an attitude of gratitude. Gratitude is more than just saying thank you when something good happens. It's a mindset that recognizes God's hand in every situation, both the good and the challenging. When you practice gratitude, you're acknowledging God's presence and provision in your life. This recognition opens the door to more blessings, as you're continually reminding yourself of His faithfulness and goodness. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what you already have, allowing you to see the many ways God is already at work. Example, let's say you're having a particularly tough day. Maybe things aren't going as planned at work, or you're dealing with a difficult situation at home. It's easy to get bogged down by negativity and frustration, but instead, you choose to take a step back and list three things you're grateful for, even in the midst of your struggles. Perhaps you're grateful for a friend who offered encouragement, for the opportunity to learn from a mistake, or simply for the strength to keep going. As you focus on these positives, you begin to feel a shift in your attitude. Your challenges don't seem as overwhelming, and you start to see God's blessings even in the hard times. Gratitude doesn't just make you feel better. It opens your heart to receive more of what God has for you. 3. Speak life with your words. The impact of your speech. The third practice is to be mindful of the words you speak. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 18 verse 21 that the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. The words you speak have a profound impact on your life and the lives of those around you. They can either build up or tear down, bless or curse, encourage or discourage. When you choose to speak words of life, words that are positive, affirming, and in line with God's truth, you invite His blessings into your life. Your words can create an atmosphere of faith and expectation, setting the stage for God's favor to manifest. Example, consider a situation where you're facing a challenge, perhaps a financial difficulty or a health issue. It's easy to fall into the trap of speaking negatively, voicing your fears and doubts. But what if, instead, you choose to speak God's promises over your situation? You might declare, God is my provider, and He will supply all my needs, or, by His stripes, I am healed. As you speak these words, 
You're not denying the reality of your situation, but you're choosing to align your speech with God's word. This act of faith not only strengthens you, but also invites God's power into your circumstances. Over time, you'll begin to see how your words have the power to change your life and bring about God's blessings more quickly. 4. Act in obedience to God's leading. The importance of obedience. The fourth daily practice is to act in obedience to God's leading. Obedience is a key to receiving God's blessings. When you follow God's instructions, you align yourself with His will, positioning yourself to receive His best for your life. Obedience isn't always easy, especially when it requires stepping out of your comfort zone or doing something that doesn't make sense from a human perspective. But when you trust God and obey His voice, you're demonstrating your faith and reliance on Him, which opens the door to His blessings. Example. Imagine you're in a situation where God is prompting you to give financially to someone in need, even though you're not sure how you'll make ends meet yourself. It would be easy to ignore that prompting, reasoning that you need to take care of your own needs first. But instead, you choose to obey God's leading and give as He has asked. As a result of your obedience, you may find that God blesses you in unexpected ways, perhaps through a financial provision, a new opportunity, or a deeper sense of peace and trust in His provision. Your act of obedience demonstrates your faith, and in return, God honors that faith by blessing you in ways you couldn't have anticipated. 5. Extend love and forgiveness to others. The power of love and forgiveness. The fifth and final practice is to extend love and forgiveness to others daily. Jesus taught us to love our neighbors as ourselves and to forgive those who have wronged us. These acts of love and forgiveness are not just about being kind to others. They're about reflecting God's character and opening your heart to His blessings. When you hold on to bitterness, anger, or resentment, you create a barrier between yourself and God's blessings. But when you choose to love and forgive, you align yourself with God's heart, allowing His love and blessings to flow freely into your life. Example, consider a time when someone hurt or offended you. The natural response might be to hold on to that hurt, allowing it to fester and grow. But instead, you choose to forgive that person, even if they haven't asked for forgiveness or acknowledged their wrongdoing. As you release that hurt and extend forgiveness, you experience a sense of freedom and peace. You're no longer weighed down by negative emotions, and your heart is open to receive more of God's love and blessings. Forgiveness isn't always easy, but it is a powerful way to align yourself with God's will and invite His favor into your life. Let's say a prayer. Asking God to help us incorporate these five daily practices into our lives so that we may receive His blessings more fully. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with grateful hearts, seeking to align our lives with your will. Lord, we thank you for the many blessings you have already given us, and we ask for your guidance as we strive to position ourselves to receive even more of your favor. Help us, Lord, to start each day with prayer and scripture, seeking your wisdom and guidance before anything else. Teach us to cultivate an attitude of gratitude, recognizing your hand at work in every situation. Guide our words that we may speak life and truth, reflecting your love and grace to those around us. Give us the courage to act in obedience to your leading, even when it's difficult or doesn't make sense. And, Lord, help us to extend love and forgiveness to others, just as you have forgiven us. We ask for your blessings to flow freely in our lives as we commit to these practices. May we experience your favor in every area of our lives, and may we be a light to those around us, sharing the love and goodness of your Son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I encourage you to begin incorporating these five practices into your daily routine. As you do, you will begin to see God's blessings manifest in your life in ways you never imagined. Remember, it's not about perfection, but about progress and a heart that seeks to honor God in all things. If this prayer resonated with you, please comment Amen below. Let's join together as a community of believers, encouraging and supporting one another in our walk with Christ. May God's blessings be upon you as you seek Him daily, and may His favor guide you in every step of your journey. God bless you all.